Okay, so they have just dropped the f sandbox preview thingy for that is coming for Primal Carnage Evolution and hopefully 3.0. Um, from what I have been told, not all of these changes will be in effect immediately. So that's something to bear in mind. But yeah, we're going to have a look. So we've looked at the gameplay, we've looked at the visuals, and we looked at the sound. So check out my other uh, reactions. And now we're going to focus on free roam, which is going, which is actually, as I just said, change into sandbox mode. So yeah, this this has been something that they've teased for a long time. I think they teased it last year as well. I think the year before. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's so nice that finally console players get to enjoy this game as much as the PC players do. Okay, so sandbox mode is a replacement for free roam. It is much more user friendly and customizable mode. For those of you that don't know what sandbox mode was, or free what free boat roam was, <laughs> that was basically where all the shitheads used to go, <laughs> the ones that got banned from the team deathmatch servers for speed hacking, all that stuff. <laughs> but no, no, in, in all seriousness, like the thing I, the issue I find with free roam is well, like I just said. A lot of the toxicity is on free roam. You know, I could practically go on a free roam server every time there's someone there causing a fuss. If you get what I mean, you know. You so and you're supposed to chill with your friends, and well, I um I'm kind of forever alone, so free roam doesn't appeal to me. But hopefully, these changes will change that. Because from what I've been told, I do have some cool ideas in my head. Much more user-friendly, customizable. The new name ties into the rework with the notion of it being creative and easy place to mess around in. That's, that's what I want now. <laughs> just punched my wardrobe. Ooh, spicy. This might actually be good for thumbnails, now that I think about it. Because making thumbnails for this game can be challenging. You, know, you want to get the right one, you want to look nice. One of my favourite things about actually doing the Primal Carnage videos is the thumbnails. Oh, I remember the old Gaming Beaver videos where you just drive around on a motorbike. <laughs> uh, half of his Primal Carnage videos was just him messing about in sandbox. Well, free roam. Gonna have to get used to that name change. Right, anyway. Okay, so that's the quick menu that looks like. I don't think this is going to come straight away. I might be wrong. I probably am. Yeah, that yeah, that is a big that was a big issue because like even I don't know all the like co admin codes that you need to do these cool things. So yeah, that is something that it looks like they they've addressed which is which can only be a positive. Because before, well, when I do thumbnails, I go onto the game, I have to like type in a certain set of commands. You know, I have to type F7, type in a command just to get the screenshot I want. So that is kind of annoying. But hopefully that'll change. So vehicles, item summoning would require typing a long awkward... Yeah, like I just said, not anymore. Oh, that's, this is just so much easier. It's like, this game is living in the dark ages and now it's being brought up to modernised standards. In normal gameplay, hold the use key for others. Uh, like sandbox quick menu. Okay, this looks like it's for evolution, based on the uh, controllers. Finding cheat codes will add them to the sandbox cheats list, where you can quickly activate them. These range from change size to god mode, and are found by entering random button sequences when playing custom matches on PlayStation. Oh, that's really cool. That's so cool for the console players. This offers multiple categories to choose from, such as vehicles, AI bots, and soon in-game items. Okay, so I f I'm going to guess that probably means that this bit is going to come later. Probably around Christmas time. We are still prototyping these features currently, so there may be differences between PS4 and PC. Okay, so this is coming to PC as well. That's good. Number of spawnable items will be limited. Obviously, you know, you don't want to overload stuff. Passive mode. So passive mode means you won't receive damage, but while active, you cannot deal damage. Okay, that's... That's a really good change, because I know a lot of free roam servers, they don't allow you to attack passives. But people do it anyway, so yeah, this'll be this'll be really good. And the fact that the toxic players can't just 
up. Oh, I'm passive. You can't die. They can't damage me, but I can damage you. At least they can't do that. Ooh. Ooh, we got some spice. Right, we're still developing sandbox mode, and some of these features may change or be removed, particularly on PS4. Testing in the beta will determine how many AI are safe to spawn on console, and certain vehicles may be prohibited on PS4 due to their unpredictability. An additional option when selecting someone on a scoreboard in sandbox will let you teleport. Okay, that's that'll come in handy. <laughs> For me, anyway. When playing sandbox, there will now be additional playable classes. These include several former NPCs that have been given a little extra TLC for sandbox mode. So, is that an iguanodon or something? From the humble... Oh my god, you can play as a compi! <laughs> oh, look at it go! <laughs> you can just go running around just biting everybody. <laughs> right, from the humble little compi to the mighty iguan... Okay, so it is an iguanodon. A new range of sandbox-only dinos will be playable soon. An Iguanodon? Wow, is it actually a new model? Oh yeah, because it was a corpse before, wasn't it? <laughs> Sandbox Dino support all the usual playable features. Okay, so that's fair enough. The playable Iguanodon Steg? A freaking para! Able to heal by both grip. Okay, so similar to Pachycephalosaurus. <laughs> we got a carnivorous Steg. Other four I can't have received texture model adjustments. Okay, that's wow, this is really cool. So I think when this does come out, we're definitely gonna have an episode dedicated to each class. Like it's so, so many changes. Like if if all goes to plan, I'm probably gonna put Primal Carnage up every single day in November. Even on weekends. And I don't post on weekends. And um, yeah, well I do have that planned in my head, so I'm gonna do like a video dedicated for each class, so yeah. And then one day okay, to each like change or something like that. There's gonna be loads of videos. Like e Right anyway, a Guanodon has its own fun spike attack. Oh she like spike them. Go <laughs> But for the most part, sandbox dinos repurpose existing dino abilities. Okay, tail swiping is popular among Parasaurolphus and Steg. Wait, you can play as babies? Okay. Adult adult stag. Wait. Oh, you can play as a baby. Oh, that's, that's so adorable. You can, you can reenact the lost world. Each of the sandbox classes will have several default skins to select from at launch, and we're looking at proper, proper workshop support for them in the future. So that means... So that, does that mean that skin creators are going to create... Does that mean we're going to get skins for these guys as well? And mutations. I think that might be the case. Wait, you can play as a skeleton? Okay, so no, new internal skeletons have been electrocuted or melted. And <laughs> Halloween. So I suspect we'll see the skeletons as well. Wait, is that a crocodile? Wait, what is that? Other bonus playable characters are already in... In the works for future updates to say okay so this is coming in the future wait caprasuchus a, ba a baby bracky the the veteran well that's a class for you know <laughs> and then the freaking dog <laughs> you could play as dog <laughs> who'd want to play as the dog in this game okay so that's coming in future updates so you know can't expect everything all at once don't get too hyped up at the mention of Baby Stego. We are not going to do anything like growth for dinosaurs. No, leave that to Path of Titans. <laughs> and there are no arduous survival mechanics planned currently. We do have emotes for drinking. Or just something that might refill your... No, but we rather... Wait, so you can gain stand back from drinking? Okay... Ooh, that could be a spicy change, actually. I mean, I don't know if it actually means that in Team Deathmatch you can drink from a water source to heal your stam. But if it does, that's a really interesting change. Well, addition, I should say. Okay, here we go. Custom matches. 
Okay, so I'm assuming this is going to be after 3.0, but we're going to have a look at it anyway. Currently, the bonus classes are confined to sandbox mode. However, we're in the planning phases of adding custom gameplay variants to other modes like Team Deathmatch. These allow PlayStation players to modify options not previously available outside of the Steam game while adding a bunch of new ones too. Ooh. So the thing with the console version is that a lot of the changes are just the console catching up to the PC version. I should mention that. I think someone did put a comment down below the other day. No, I didn't really take that into account, but yeah. A lot of the console changes are so it just catches up. So the console update is probably going to be bigger than the PC update. Since the console game hasn't been updated for about 50 years. Right, anyway, custom, ma custom matches will be added sometime after 3.0 with advanced tweak options including individual class limit adjustments, tweaking respawn timers, toggling spawn waves, allowing cheats, and yes, enabling sandbox dinos in other game modes. Okay, so that's the... That is going to be fun. <laughs> uh, I, I think I'm going to have to think about setting up my own server for this game. Anyway, running a custom match will disable X experience game but will allow a lot of flexibility for those who want to experiment with mechanics and are more interested in fun than progression well i've been maxed up for about 10 years so <laughs> my only motivation to play this game is for fun <laughs> progression is just alien to me oh my god oh my god that's gonna be fun oh we gotta have some fun with this when this comes out and I suspect they'll probably come out in 2025. Okay, Sandbox Mode will debut first on PlayStation. Okay, that's fair. Ah, okay, so you console players will get this first. Which, let's be honest, you all deserve it. And uh, the PC player, we're going to have to wait a little longer, but that's, you know, that's fine. I don't care. We're looking forward to the so the bro testing with new playables in the closed beta. Final waves of beta will be going out soon. Yeah. Yeah, what yeah, what the hell are you doing if you haven't got the console game? Buy the console game. Okay, so Halloween Horrors is gonna come at the end of October. We all know that. Oh, okay, so that means 3.0 is gonna come really soon. Is that a new mute? That looks why is his head so big? <laughs> Is it, hang on, is it me or is this Spino's head like massive? Okay, so yeah, something you we do need to make be aware of. Some features from Evolution will not be there on day one. As we have mentioned in the past, new elements like the announcer, skill shot system and expanded OST will debut first on the console. Likewise, the expanded lore documents and deeper dialogue system will arrive on PC after Evolution has launched on PlayStation. So the audio stuff, like I mentioned in the previous session, that's going to come to the PlayStation first and then PC later. For the initial 3.0 update on PC, there will be a reduced number of playable maps. Wait, they're getting rid of maps? Okay, but the, obviously the new nighttime variants will be available to play. More remastered maps will be added over the next couple of months with snow levels returning for the winter. Oh, so they're scrapping the snow levels. Okay, well... Oh, uh, well, okay. My first big chunk of PC's new era to see wait, this October with 3.0. It's definitely... They do not have an official... Okay, so there's no official date for Evolution's release on console yet. I, well, I suspect November... Probably... I'm going to guess mid-November Evolution will come out. I mean, that's my prediction. But, well, yeah. Here we go. That is it. Wow. Like... Where do, where do I even start? So I think oh, the biggest hype for me is obviously the sandbox mode. Getting all these playable dinos. I do have a lot of cool like mini games that I have planned out in my head. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I will pull something out of my hat like I always do. Um, right, I'm not going to go on too long. I'm just going to end things here and pop a comment down below. Which part of Sandbox are you hyped for the most? 
And until next time, which will hopefully be the 3.0 update. Ta-ta. Yeah.